Hello Twin Flames, this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy reading. Today, especially since we're doing this on the weekend, I decided to do a little bit different format and we're going to focus on divine masculine energy. We're going to be taking a look at um, what are they, what's happening with their energy, what are they thinking about, what kind of actions are they taking, you know, what's happening on their journey, because now we all have questions, so I decided I'll spend more time on it and just not to make it too long i'm just going to focus on the dms i am going to start with an oracle deck and today i'm using the cosmic journey oracle and that's the so i'm going to pull a card actually both for the df and dm but then i'm going to focus on divide masculines collective today and to finish off, I have um, a little oracle deck with messages from Divine Masculine, so I'm going to pull a few of those as well. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. Happy weekend. It's been a little bit of everything about the weather in New York area this weekend. It was cold, it was a little warmer, it was snowing, it was raining, it was very windy, um, slippery dry you know sunny everything whatever whether you enjoy i mean among winter weathers you know proper winter weathers we had it all this weekend but it's gonna be a lot more springy uh in the coming week and i can't wait i have a few things that i need to do outside i have uh, a couple of trips to manhattan so i'm excited that it's actually gonna be nice and warm and while it's craziness outside, I can stay inside <laughs> with all of you. Okay, so for Divine Feminine, we have how can this be a wonderful win-win-win, number 16. Yeah, so whatever is on your mind today, whatever kind of challenge you're approaching, or you want to help someone, or whatever it is that you are thinking about right now, think about how it can be a win-win-win, like a win for everyone, for you, for whoever else is involved and for the global community for the collective maybe even for the other realms right energetic realms the universe right how can you make that situation a win-win-win and it's easier said than done but i'm sure you'll find it you can meditate on it you can ask your angels your guides to help you with it to point you in the right direction but don't overthink. I have this problem too. It's not like I'm above all of it. Yeah, I do too. But that's why uh, meditation and prayer really help me out. And different kinds of mindfulness practices help me quiet the monkey mind. And really listen to my intuition and listen to my guides. Okay, what about divine masculines? What are they contemplating today two cards synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space so they are seeing some synchronicities some interesting coincidences probably in most of their minds but it's wonderful you are perfectly imperfect number 34 okay so another thing is what they're thinking about is that there are certain things they'd like to change about themselves. I'm getting this loud and clear. It's like, especially with the star, it's like, I can be a star if I'm this, and then, you know, whatever it is. That's in mind and I'm hearing. <laughs> um, childish, irresponsible. Yeah, different things, like, you know, whatever the context is for your DM, but it's 24 and 34, it's interesting. It's like through a cycle. <sighs> okay, let's get into tarot now, let's see what we have, a lot of orange I see, so that's the sacral chakra, yeah, for the masculines it's a lot about their, like, feeling their power, their manhood, um, you know, their passion, What's happening on the 5D space? What's the energy like for Divine Masculines today? Seven of Cups in reverse. I'm gonna pull clarifiers too. 
uh, what are the youngs thinking about today? What's on their conscious mind? Two of Cups. It kind of rolled around, but it was up, upright. I'm going to keep it that way. And what action are they taking? Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. Have two sevens here. Bottom of the deck, the Empress. Yeah. Divine feminines, as long as you are in balance and in power, you are sending that kind of vital energy to and, and loving energy to your DM, even if you're not consciously thinking about it. That's what's happening. Um, yeah, let's pull also some card to clarify. Um, what do divine masculines need to know about their imperfections today? Cards. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, lovers on the bottom of the deck. Alrighty, let's pull some clarifiers. Please clarify. So for Seven of Cups, in reverse, we have the Magician. That's the energy. Please clarify. Two of Cups. King of coins in reverse and please clarify seven of swords in reverse eight of coins in reverse please clarify nine of pentacles nine of cups whoa oh two of cups <laughs> okay bottom of the neck here justice so we see some major arcanas kind of underneath playing out the role of like setting the energies, right? They're all positive. They're all about balance, about love, about manifestation. Um, so yeah, it's really like the universe is sort of trying to support you and gently push you forward, divine masculines, into the oblivion period, <laughs> into the, you know, the more ascended, more um, you know, the, the space of higher consciousness, let's put it that way. Okay, so 5D energy, 7 of cups in reverse and the magician, clarified by the magician. Yeah, so what I'm getting is um, there is no need to contemplate, you know, which way to go, which cup to choose, where is real love, where, is, where it isn't. No, but it's now time to kind of manifest it into reality. So there's no confusion anymore on the 5D level of where true love lies, that it is with divine feminine, where unconditional love is, both ways, because, yeah, that's a big part of realization, thank you, that um, divine masculines recognize that DFs have been the ones who love them unconditionally, and in turn, that they love them unconditionally no matter what's going on in 3d space no matter what challenges the two have no matter what maybe other people are trying to bring in and on the surface it seems nice but deep down they still longing for the for the closeness for the comfort of divine feminine to kind of to to share with them to be with them to support them all of those things both ways and that's what's being manifested in 5D right now. So it's kind of going back and forth both ways. We see the Two of Cups here too. What are they thinking about? So here we have Two of Cups clarified by King of Coins. So yeah, obviously they're thinking that <sighs> although they found some success in 3D space, some financial success, and maybe even home comfort was where they are now, whether it's somebody else, you know, some karmic, people just by themselves they found certain balance and stability they understand that that means nothing if they are not if they don't have true love in their life and before that it used to be kind of like a fantasy uh, they weren't sure if it's even possible right they were guided a lot by 
you know, what other people, what, what this King of Pentacles would mean for other people. That was the goal. Now it's not anymore. And not that they've, they are already there, that they've reached everything they wanted, but it just doesn't seem as important. They realize they lose interest to reaching those goals, to hitting those targets. Because more and more they find themselves thinking about, where is my Divine Feminine now? Even I'm getting, even for those who are not as conscious that that's their true love, that that's the one, that that's their life partner, really. They are still, like, if they still feel this closeness with the person, even if they don't re fully realize why. And they start understanding that this kind of closeness that we have with those special people in our life, that that, w that is worth so much more than any any gold, any riches, any physical targets, titles, statuses, anything and everything that pentacles are about. Now, what are they, what kind of action are they taking? It's interesting because we have seven of swords in reverse, but also eight of coins in reverse. <laughs> so they don't want to be fooling themselves anymore and even other people that work is the ultimate the ultimate action and that's the main action they're aiming for and it justifies not doing anything else in their life they understand it's a lie it's not true and also they understand that it's not true that the more they work the more hours the more effort they put in the more they're gonna get out that doesn't work either and they're understanding now so it's almost like it's the moment of them experimenting a little bit with how they uh, how they use their energy what are they using their time for you know where do they focus and how it impacts the outcome right it's a bit of experimentation now more than just kind of like straightforward direct yeah I have to go to work I have to make money I'm going to work I'm gonna make money whatever that is right like figuratively speaking um yeah they are now noticing very strongly that it doesn't guarantee if they like diligent and disciplined and hardworking, it doesn't guarantee the success they're looking for or happiness even more even less so right this is the seven of swords in reverse they don't want that anymore just the pretend success um what do they need to know about their imperfections? And that's super brilliant. So we have the two nines. The nines are about individual wishes here, individual <sighs> success and comfort. So what they need to know is that it's about their individual success and comfort. And nobody else can really make them successful and happy but themselves. And the underlying energy that is showing them that, them that is the twin flame connection. That's the irony of it, right? And no, I'm not talking about divine feminine telling them something, but that's what, there is like a very intricate way of how that energy flows in and how much it impacts each of us really. The same happens with divine feminines from their interaction with DMs. Right, so direct or indirect, maybe they, this comes out even from them watching Divine Feminine, how they organize their life. Maybe from the special communication and bond they have together. And also maybe because of the contrast they're seeing in their karmic life, in their karmic situations with other people. That whatever responsibility they were putting on the outside world for reaching uh, happiness, whatever they were blaming themselves, or they were finding excuses that, you know, yeah, I still can't do that. I'm not good at this. And that's why I'm not successful. That all is a lot of BS. And there's truly, that comes from the inside and from the, from staying balanced in a line in the energy. I'm trying to have, getting a lot of kind of thoughts. I'm trying to unpack them but hopefully you guys understand what i mean 
So that A, so first of all, it starts from the person themselves, from their individual energy and viewpoints. What are they, what kind of energy are they exuding? Are they a star or they, are they finding imperfections everywhere in themselves, right? And also that, you know, no matter what we can or cannot do, and we all have, you know, our strengths and our weaknesses, it's only about how we turn them around. There is no external factors to blame here. I mean, of course there are facts like, right? I don't know, in sports, somebody is running faster than me and they're getting the first prize and I'm 10th. That's objective, right? But is that something, that's actually a good example. Is that something that makes us happy and fulfilled? Is that the definition of success? That's the only way. Right? Any situation could be unpacked in that way. And if I'm number 10, you know, competition after competition doesn't mean it's the end of the road. That I need to give up now, I need to, you know, sit on the couch and complain all day long. Like, oh yeah, maybe I should have gotten a better coach. Or maybe I should have started my training earlier in life. Or, you know, if I didn't have this and that problem with my legs, maybe I would have done better, right? That doesn't serve anyone. That is not going to make your wish come true. That is not going to get you the beautiful garden where, you know, you feel like a king or a queen. And by the way, I'm, we're talking about the unmask of energies today. That is not about the gender. Right, so it's really in the hands of divine masculines and they are getting love letter from the universe as the synchronicities. Now, do you know, the divine has so much love for you with all of your aspects, you know, all of your qualities, whether you find them perfect or imperfect, there is so much love for you and so much faith in what you can do and what you can achieve. You just need to open up your horizons, Divine Masculines, and what is that success? Why are you stuck on specific things and you can't see yourself somewhere else? Maybe that's a sign that it really wouldn't be a very good use of your talent, of your energy, because you have so many more talents because you can help so many people. You can be a shining star somewhere else. If not in relay racing, maybe somewhere else. Maybe you could use your running abilities in, I don't know, saving people. Training somebody else to be those next champions. Maybe sharing your story of what you've overcome to be where you are today. And really, for some people, you be number 10, is already a lot to be proud of, right? So there are always different ways on how you spin it, how you look at it, how you perceive it. And that's the key. That's the energy we're talking about. I'm talking about it day in, day out, right? How do we see where we are today? Are we grateful for what we have and for our journey? Are we taking it as a sign of like, okay, maybe that's not the best way. This, this is not where I'm supposed to be right now. Let me listen in, let me explore, let me at least experiment with other things I'm, I feel passionate about, or at least I feel happy doing. Because that's key, right? That's our soul talking to us. It's like, yes, yay, yay, you found it, you found it, yes. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna post some messages from Divine Masculines to Divine Feminines. What would they like to tell their feminines today? Okay. I know how much I need you in my life. Yes, that's exactly what we saw with the in the thinking space, in the conscious space. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said to you. And I do see myself settling down with you. Okay, I hope this has been useful for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and for staying with me today. Again, if you'd like to help out the situation in Ukraine, I'm still gonna be posting information in the comment, in the pinned comment. Uh, 
it's getting harder and harder over there every day. So any help is appreciated. Uh, and of course, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like, share, subscribe or comment below the video. I love you guys and talk to you soon.